I think one thing that's different about ChatGPT and us that I think is fairly fundamental to the coherence of idea of having sentience, at least as, as um, you know, in our state, is embodiment. So even though it is run on computer hardware, it's not actually bound to any computer hardware. Does that make sense? Like we actually operate in a world. We don't actually really encounter human minds independent of human bodies, right? <laughs> Embodiment, I think, is a key part. There's a whole field of something called embodied cognition that actually suggests large parts of what it means to think and reason with understanding is connected to the fact that we actually have bodies in this world. I think our ethical responsibilities to AI are going to track more closely with this sort of rationality connected to a body, but not just disembodied in a cloud. Uh, I think also, uh, you know, Christians, some of you wonder, wait a minute, I thought, I thought there could be disembodied consciousness. Maybe. But when you read um, what it actually talks about, even if there is an afterlife, is it talks about how we all have spiritual bodies in the afterlife. There isn't actually any discussion of humans having consciousness independent of a body says we're going to get new bodies. And so there's this question, right, is it actually even coherent to think about creaturely intelligence or cognition independent of a body? And I, and, I, and I don't know if it's coherent. I wonder if that's one of the missing pieces that could make it more human to the point that maybe we might have to start thinking differently about its ethical rights and our, our ethical rights, its ethical rights and our responsibilities to it.